from Enchain, the company <laughs> behind uh, uh, that employs uh, Craig. Uh, it's a very mysterious organization. Prior yep. to Calvin Air's acquisition, Enchain was acquired by Sivak, who were the, in turn managed by Akuro Fund Solutions. Do you have any idea who ultimately is behind Enchain, who created it, and who are these mysterious backers of BSB, do you think? that's That's been my own, uh, you know, I've looked into this quite a bit, and it, it really is just kind of mysterious. I, I think the very beginnings of it, uh, I think it's very clear Rob McGregor, who's a Canadian uh, from Vancouver, who had a payments company called N, I always get this mixed up, with whether it was NTrust or NCrypt, because... Uh, both both of those entities were names that were used and ultimately uh, got got uh, bundled into what became Enchain. But um, Rob Rob just seems like a pretty basic entrepreneur guy who was interested in the blockchain space uh, because he wanted to facilitate payments. Um, so I think he planted the first seeds of what became Enchain. Now Rob has been out for many many years now, um, but in twenty I think it was twenty sixteen was sort of his last hurrah over at the uh, at the end chain um, place. Cause he and Craig uh, really had it out. Rob, Rob really wanted Craig to be kind of a spectacle. Uh, he wanted Craig to be on Oprah kind of thing. And Craig obviously didn't want that. So uh, he and Craig didn't see eye to eye and, and Rob, <laughs> Rob got axed pretty quick. I, I think it was Rob that set up the BBC um, stuff with, with Craig that ended up going, you know, catastrophically uh, poorly and uh, it was it was Rob's head on the on the chopping block after that. But um, as for you know who's involved, uh, I I don't frankly know. You know I, I don't know who's at these companies, but I, I would guess in a lot of these situations, um, you know I know Calvin Calvin has always had a pretty good chunk of Enchain. I don't know how much because it's a private company, but I, I would guess Calvin's always had uh, a pretty big steering wheel that he can turn. Um, and it's it's likely, and, and again, I'm just speaking theoretically, I don't know, but it's likely that just these couple of firms that invested a pretty good chunk of money, it's probably just money they threw at a at a thing. You know, like lots of these firms, if you look at the way that uh, some of these sovereign wealth fund sort of groups or VC or old style hedge funds, a lot of them are like, I don't know, man, we invest in a thousand companies a year and we have a vetting process, but it's not particularly ideological. And um, it, it could be that it could just be if you were to ask the manager, like, oh, why would you invest in Enchain? That they'd have to look it up and say, well, I don't know. Why did we invest in Enchain and check it out? But um, and I say that as someone like I know the people that actually work at or not all of them. There's hundreds of them. But but I know people that sit in, you know, C-level offices there and and work on the serious projects and like th they're not they're not, you know. Swiss bankers or, or that kind of thing. And so, um, so I don't know basically, but, uh, it's, it's something I've looked at and it's just always kind of been a dead end, um, to, to figure out. So I would guess it's, it's probably, um, probably benign because also like what would be, uh, what would it look like if it was nefarious or, or powerful? Like, I feel like it would have been more successful at this point if it was done for uh, reasons of like making money and controlling systems. Like they either just really failed at being the kind of uh, you know, de facto leaders in the space. Um, so it just seems like whoever is, is pulling the strings, like they really are just interested in, in high level um Bitcoin research and development because it's what they actually do. And they seem to be completely content with losing money doing it for uh, quite a long time now. So uh, that at least shows to me that they have a commitment to the idea much more than they have a commitment to like ideology and power and money at, at this point anyways. Yeah.